community groups in Iowa City are keeping the pressure on local officials to use the American Rescue Plan money for frontline workers and local immigrants. A coalition of 16 groups is asking for $54 million in funds to be distributed among low-wage workers, many of whom did not get a stimulus check. Well, tonight here live, Iowa City reporter Travis Breeze tells us more about the survey data from the coalition, which does show quite a disparity between immigrants and average Iowans. Ron and Abby, the Iowa City Catholic Worker House has been helping distribute a survey to 146 immigrants in Johnson County. Many of them are undocumented. Now, they found that 20 percent of the respondents say they are out of work right now. That is five times higher than the statewide unemployment rate of 4 percent. I believe that these findings show how some of the most vulnerable members in our society have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. Local officials want their money from the nearly $2 trillion American Rescue Plan to go to people who've been affected by the pandemic the most. The Fund Excluded Workers Movement thinks that is undocumented immigrants, many of whom work in frontline jobs like food processing. They carried our cities, our county, our country forward during an unprecedented time of crisis. And it is now on each of the entities to consider taking a step towards them. In a survey sent to local immigrants, 62% said they or someone in their family got sick from COVID and 83% said their household lost income. 84% of respondents say they did not get a stimulus check. I want them to be supported. They've supported me and I'm here to support them. While President Biden signed the American Rescue Plan Act in March, our local municipalities are still planning. But half of their allotment has already arrived. That's 27 million in Johnson County. The coalition wants that money put to use now. It may not even be till September until they have a concrete plan. And that is far too long for funds from a bill that was passed in March of this year. Some speakers today said even if the city of Iowa City doesn't have its full plan yet on how to use this ARPA funding, that they could still give some money to area nonprofits. In the meantime, city manager Jeff Fruin tells me that is one option they will be evaluating over the next few months. In Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Travis, thanks so much. A lot of things yet to be decided, obviously. Now, this community coalition today presented its survey data to local officials at a meeting of the county joint entities. Yeah, they've spoken at the city council and also a board of supervisors meeting over the last three months.